So here's, the, here's our trace. A lot of things going on in here. Um, you can use the track kind of zooming, zooming. It's really fun. Uh, <laughs> but you're looking for things that take time. Whoa. Okay, that's this big, huge yellow bar. This is my two second, three second frame. Uh, let's see what's inside these yellow bars. Yellow is script, uh, JavaScript. But inside of it, we're basically, we had some script, but now we're doing recap style, recap style, recap style, recap style. Huh? Okay. Um, looks like a lot more over here, too. So, let's take a look at why. I can hover my mouse. Over here, let's see, is this good? Well, yeah. Hover my mouse over here to see the details of uh, what exactly happened. This, uh, I want this one. How about that one? Yeah, four. <clears throat> now, there's a few things that happened. The styles got invalidated because I did something, and the recalculation of the styles was forced. It was forced in this add embedded CSS. And I click over here, it's minify, that sucks. I unminify with that cool button, and then I come back over here. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. I didn't see it. We're kind of for like ages. Come on, guys. Nah, it's awesome. It, it is the best. Okay, the cool is, so one, it unminifies. But two, like, now all these links go back to the place that, like, the original place figures out oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have taken more time on that. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, so what am I showing? Uh, I was showing some things. OK, I'll back up. Here's what's going on. There's, we just saw this method called add embedded CSS. Add embedded CSS is a really funky method that Wikipedia had to deal with because they add CSS to the page um, while the page is loading. They got like loading I think, some modules and they're like, oh, I got some new CSS, I'm gonna put it in, put it in, put it in, put it in, put it in. If everyone's made like a Drupal ran into this a lot, um, IE uh, six through nine had a limit on the number of style sheets you could add to the page. Who knows about that? Yeah, yeah, like it's like 38 or something. Right. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah. It's really low. It's tremendously low. And so people hit it. And so we can hit it. And so like, we are going to work around this, right? And so what they do is there's a style tag on the page. And they're just going to add stuff to the existing style tag instead of making new ones, which is a reasonable solution, I guess, for, for that situation. So uh, let's see. So if it's basically this is a feature to detect for IE, and if it's IE, then we're just going to augment the style sheet.css text with the new stuff. Um, and otherwise, we're going to create a text node of the new CSS text and add that into the style. Basically, it does the same thing, just two different ways. Um, and they do this every single time. Now, what happens when you augment? an existing style tag with new style, like a bunch of new CSS, uh, that entire, all the rest of the CSS in that style tag has to be reevaluated, and recalculated, rematched up to all those, uh, those elements. And that is exactly what you're seeing in these big purpley bits. This is it doing it once, twice, three times, four times, five times. And it's the same thing over and over with slight little differences. But really, the only one that needed to happen was this, probably one of, one of these, like this one. And they didn't need any of the other bars, right? This three second frame could have probably been about 0.3 seconds. So that's normal. <clears throat> so uh, there's two things going on here. One is that they're augmenting the styles. Now, that, the browser can be smart about that. It doesn't actually need to recalculate all these styles unless you need it to. But unfortunately, in this, in this load time, we need it to. So um, when you see something like this in the timeline, these little guys right here, it is going to have an indication that something is, is probably wrong here. Um, and so you can actually see uh, a few examples of what was wrong. So the layout was invalidated. Uh, like I said, by added embedded CSS. 
But then we forced the layout. Something needed to know the geometry or the styles of the get computed style of the page. What was it? And then we see the spec right here. We're like, hmm, okay. MW loader, media wiki loader, something, something, jQuery, uh, yes, yes, jQuery extend style. And then we went into the CSS hooks, augment style with the current CSS. Current CSS, we jump into there, and then we, here we have our get, um, our computed get property value off of our get computed style. So this is when the browser was like, hold up, let me recalculate the world, give you this value, and you can go on and do the exact same thing again, and then I'll keep doing this. Thanks very much. And it sucks, right? And so it recalculated it just to do it all over again. Um, so watch out for these triangles. This is, so what this is, is this is called layout thrashing. When the layout has to be recomputed again and again and again and again. Uh, you can Google layout thrashing if you want to read more about that. Uh, that's bad. <clears throat> so, um, anyways, the cool thing about all this is that uh, there's like a, there's a few front end developers that work on MediaWiki, and uh, the lead one, essentially, is on the jQuery team. His name is Timo, he goes by Crinkle, uh, he's awesome. And so we're talking to him and it's all getting fixed. So that's good. <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, last feature. I'm gonna show, this is a, a feature, it's still experimental. Um, I'm gonna show you how to grab experimental features in the dev tools. So uh, we will load up settings. Oh, this is, I mean, this is kind of out there. First you go to about flags. It's all this crazy shit in here. But developer tools experiments is down in here. Uh, you can turn that on, restart, and then inside settings, you have these experiments. Cool stuff like canvas inspection. So this is canvas and WebGL inspection. I didn't show, I could have. You want to see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what was that? What was that Boku thing that you made with the 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 no the, 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 the game field runners? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this game's awesome. I used to play all the time on my iPhone like a lot, and then and then I'm very glad that I stopped. And then Boku like helped make the additional fibers. And I was like, no. <laughs>
I can walk the draw groups, and what it's actually doing is it replays all those draw calls right uh, here. Do, 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 do. No, where are you at? Don't tell me you got a bug. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit more. There we go. We can step by step see all the draws as they come out. So this is how WebGL is drawing a specific frame, and I'm just walking down the down the draws. Um, and then you can click into exactly all the specific calls that made up that time. Canvas inspection, very new. It's an experiment, so you know, there's that. But there's a bunch of other stuff in here, including snippets, which is what I was going to show that I constructed. But I think it's worth it. Uh, snippets. All right, snippets are pretty rad. So they show up over here inside sources, which used to be called scripts. Um, and over here, this right hand side. So like, let's say, um, it's basically, the way to think of snippets is that it is a multi-line console, but it is persistent. It just saves what you have into it. So over here, I was playing with um, a new way that we do console logging. So um, before, when you used to log an object inside Chrome uh, or Safari, it would just do a little, we would do the word object and have that little triangle next to it, and then you log, and you always have to go in and click that freaking triangle, and it got annoying. So anyways, nowadays, you console log, like let's say these objects, or you know this kind of simple object, and you get a preview. So right at the time that it gets logged, it previews it so you can see it. You don't have to click the little arrow to see what's actually inside it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but here you can just like screw around. Um, what's another object that's worth looking at? Navigator. Navigator. Navigator is so good. Oh, I haven't saw it. How you doing? Isn't it weird, this stuff, man? Crazy. You is something like, wow, wow, product got going on. Okay, cool. Navigator. It's like, just full of legacy garbage. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so, so it's multi like out, so that's pretty cool. You can experiment with things, try them out, hit play. You can also, you can also uh, select a line and just Wow, really? Can I just do that without a massive? Uh, of, it's right here. Jesus, that's a lot. Evaluate console. And then it just evaluates that. Um, anyways, uh, this is also good. Say, for instance, if you want to add um, a unicorn. <laughs> I also was doing this. OK, one minute.